Hey BBs, it's Max, and today I'm back with you guys for an all new video. How are we all doing today? I hope we're all doing super, super, super fierce. In today's video, y'all, y'all clicked on the thumbnail and y'all saw the new doll. Today we have the new Monster High character from G1, Lenore Lumington, and this is a doll who I really don't know what her T is, to be honest with you guys. This doll came on Mattel Creations, she's like a limited edition, whatever doll. I paid $75 for this diva. Um, and we're gonna see if that's worth it, to be honest. Again, I don't really know what this wave is for. I'm gonna, I know that this is a new original character for G1. She was limited edition, obviously, like I just said. She was designed by Rebecca Shipman. And I don't know if this is gonna be like a new wave or a new, like, kind of like line, like the new the, the Honka Tour line, how they have re new renditions of it every now and then. So I don't know if this is gonna be like a new designer series. I honestly kind of hope it is. I love new characters for Monster High G1. Um, and I'm excited to see if the different designers have their takes on what characters they would want. I would honestly really, really want an Annalise character design doll, um, out of the Monster Eye team. I think that would be really, really cool, but I'm excited to kind of get out started with Rebecca Shipman's version of whoever this diva is. I don't really know who Lenora is, to be honest with you guys. The whole point of this doll is that she's a new character for G1, and Monster High was always, always, always heavily focused on the characters, and I want to say right off the bat... There is no characterization with this doll like, at all. I want to just preface that by there's no diary with this doll. There's no episode with this doll. There's nothing really giving me any information on who she is as a character. I thought this doll was pretty enough to buy her. I do think the $75 that I already paid is kind of expensive, but I want to see maybe opening this doll. Maybe it won't be as daunting to have the, paid that price. I do think she is already a lot prettier in person. Just again, right off the bat, I opened her up and I'm really excited to get into her. Um, so without out of the way, let's just kind of get into this doll again. The whole question that we're asking for this video is if this doll is worth $75. Probably not, but why not? Let's just get into her. So Lenora's box is really, really pretty. It's very reflective. And if you can kind of see, I feel like it's a lot more reflective than any other Monster High box. This doll is, again, $75. And I feel like this box is not pretty enough for $75. Can I be honest with you guys real quick? This box is totally giving me Monster High Holiday Series. Like, it's the exact shape. It's kind of the exact vibe of a Holiday Series box. And to be honest, I don't like that, to be honest. Again, like, Monster High was always fun with, like, their original boxes. And this box is nothing that exciting. I think it is cool, but it is very reflective. And as a person who likes to take pictures of the dolls in box before I open them, I kind of hate how reflective it is. I wish it was more cardboard, to be honest, and less plastic. It is very plastic, I think, all around, all four sides. This is all, like, a plastic coating, which is kind of interesting. I've never seen that on the back. Um, but on the front, we have her name. We have the Monster High logo. We have some vines. I guess she's, like, a garden ghoul. We have her pet, her stands there. I wish the stand was hidden a little bit better to kind of give her more of an effect of being in the woods, but... I'm just a critique hater, um, and I also paid $75 for this doll. The bottom is her barcode. Again, she's only available on Mattel Creations that I know of. The Monster Eye box, like, on the sign is really cool. The back of the box is, again, also that kind of, like, reflective packaging, so you can see my Bratz collection in the back. Um, we have this picture of her, which I don't like how this is not, like, the Monster Eye style to me, to be honest. I feel like this is very 2D, very flat. Um, it is very pretty. It is a very, very stunning design, but I just don't think it fits as Monster High, personally. There's her pet. I don't know the pet's name, to be honest. Does anybody know the pet's name? I would like to know. Without the glare in the way, hopefully we can kind of see there is some sort of description. Um, again, I don't love the glare, and I don't really feel like reading that, but again, this is designed by Rebecca Shipman, so take that as you will. Again, the back of the box. I don't know. The box is fine. It's just kind of like Halliday. That's what it's giving me. It's giving me Halliday. Um, but I am excited to get her, again, out of the box. I think she looks a lot prettier in person. Here's kind of more of a look at her, maybe. But let's get her out of this box, and I'm so excited to dive into this doll with you guys. I will see you soon. I want to say, actually, quickly, that as I was opening this doll, you can take that plastic part off. So here's actually a better look at the back of her box. So I'm really grateful for that, because I did want to kind of know what this says. Y'all can pause to read if you want. Um, but there is something about her. Like, I don't really care that much. I just want to get, like, know who she's about. Like, I want to know what she's about, but I also don't want to read. Like, give me, like, an episode. Y'all, low-key, what this would have been cool with is, like, if they made, like, an episode for her. Like, a little, like, reimagination or something. Um, and then here's, I guess, like, the window clear box, though. It's just kind of, again, plastic. Um, it's all around the box. But that is a cool little detail, I think. Um, it is a little bit different than Holiday, but it kind of still has Holiday energy. Here is, again, like, more of her name, I guess, if you forgot it for some reason. Um, but yeah. Really, really cool again. Her artwork's there. It's artwork. Um, so I like that little detail again. I was just complaining about it. This box feels empty still. But um, yeah, the box is not... I'm not an inbox collector, so I don't care that much. But let's rip her out. I am excited. Wait, actually, again, I'm making a lot of little divots right now. I read this and it makes literally no sense. There's nothing about her in this. Like I just said, I didn't want to read it. I read it. There is literally nothing about her in this. She like walked into a forest and she's like glowing now. 
Where, like, what is her, like, that's not a story. That's just, like, she did it. But, like, who is she? Is she, like, dead? Is she alive? She's a ghost. Yeah. What? Let's get into the doll. I'm so sick of this already. <laughs> and we are all out of the box with Miss Lenore. Honestly, out of the box, I'm kind of gagging. I am kind of gagging. So, one thing that I want to say quickly is that this doll is a whole new stand. I mean, it's not, like, that different. Like, it's not, like, a giant thing, but it's a giant stand. Like, here is... Um, my school's out, Claudine. It is a pretty big stand for her dress. I think she's supposed to be, again, a floating ghost. Um, and her stand is actually really, really pretty up close and in person. It's kind of just like a white... I mean, it's not that pretty, but it's like white and it has like some silver sparkles in it. Um, which is pretty cool. And it is fun that they gave her, like again, a bigger stand. Because you're supposed to like put her up like this. So she's like kind of floating with it. Which is cool. I kind of do wish they did like... A more fun stand like something like haunted where like the chains was there and i will say the stand doesn't like stay the best like, i mean the doll's kind of heavy and she doesn't like float as high as i would like her to float but you know what that's fine i'm gonna stand her up normally though for the video so i don't like lose my mind but she's a pretty tall doll like the shoes are pretty actually i'm gonna put her like this because the dress is kind of getting flat a little bit i don't know how to like pose this at all already i'm already kind of confused but she kind of stays up there not the best, I will say. The stand isn't the most sturdy. It is a monster high stand, but, like, it's fine. So, again, the other things that we do come with, though, is her little pet. Does anybody know this pet's name? I would like to know, but it's a cute little spider. It's very, very nicely painted, and it's a pretty good density, I would say. Some of the monster high pets, I think, as of recent, have been feeling a little bit hollow. But this one feels pretty good. I mean, it could stand on its own. I remember Operetta's spider stood pretty horribly, so it's nice that this one has all those legs. We would also have this purse, which I will say also feels kind of cheap to be honest this little like thing is kind of like weird there's like a little blue thing and you can take it off and it this just feels cheap to be honest but this is nice this is kind of funny again i wish there's some more painted details like i wish the flame was kind of lit um because again for 75 dollars i want to complain a little bit more than i would on like a normal doll um but it's a fun little detail i think it feels a little bit greasy to be honest on mine um but i don't know maybe that's just the whole packaging for this part felt greasy. Like, the clear coating for the spider and the lantern was kind of weird. But, um, yeah. Wish this a little bit more detailed. But it is still pretty for what it is. But now on to Miss Lenore herself. I am actually really excited to get into this doll. I thought this doll had the prettiest face when I looked at her. And that's what truly drew me to get this doll. I mean, her face is pretty, like, white. It's not, like, super, like, white like Spectra's. And I can grab Spectra in just a minute if you guys want to look at her, too. But it's, like, more of, like, a white your destiny kind of thing. She does have, like, these, like, teardrop glitter stains, which kind of only look good in a certain light. Sometimes, like, they look kind of gross. Like, like up here, this looks disgusting. But in the right light, they look really, really pretty. I like the little, like, purple around her eyes. I love this, like, these eyes. Like, the, the pink lashes are really, really pretty. Again, I like the the the, the sheen of like the teardrop glitter but it does look a little bit muddy again from certain angles it looks like mess the purple lips are good there's some blushing on her face as well i would say and overall like a really 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 pretty face like the lips look to be painted fully in this is a very good monster high face she does also have a nice head of saran hair and it goes down to around like her butt i think i would say maybe like kind of to her thigh it is mostly black and it has a side part here i'm not gonna take this hat off but there are some pastel like blue and purples in it and it is kind of curled a little bit yeah it's not straight or anything but it is very very nice and out of the packaging it's kind of a nice very soft fiber it's not crunchy or hard um and she does have a fun little headpiece and some spiders with um like lanterns again these are pinned in her head and i'm just gonna leave them there so they don't fall out but it is a nice side part and it is a nice saran hair um if you guys know saran is a very nice fiber which i come to expect on the limited edition monster hair dolls which were 75 dollars i would hope that they have good hair her earrings are also really really cute again i wish some more painted detail would kind of happen with them but it is a nice iridescent -y, teal kind of color there are is that little like flame painted in there it's fun. It's not the most creative monster high earring ever, but it is a pretty one. Let's take a look at this diva's outfit, though, because this outfit was honestly kind of hit or miss for me. I kind of felt either I liked it or I didn't like it, and I couldn't really decide, honestly, until now. And I think right now, I would say it's pretty. I like the sleeves a lot. She does have, like, the plastic kind of thing on her arms, which we can take off quickly for this video, just to kind of protect from any bleeding or any staining. Or Let me do this off camera. So I like I love the bell sleeves and the construction on the sleeve part. It is a very, very flowy, a very ghostly kind of thing going on. Um, it does kind of feel a little bit weird, but I don't mind it. It's really, really, really pretty, to be honest, from like this part up. I didn't know how I felt about this like 
I don't, is it like a belt necklace thing? I mean, it's, it's a big plastic piece, which I come to expect from Monster High, to be honest with you guys. Like, I'm not mad at the giant plastic piece over thrown, like, the dress. But for a $75 doll, again, I wish it was a little bit more. I wish there was some more painted details. I think there's a lot of cool details within the sculpt. Like, the flowers are just kind of lost in translation. Again, like, there's a lot of lost details with the thing being not painted. It is, like, again, that iridescent-y kind of thing that is going on with the earrings. But I just don't think it's translated super well into the physical doll. I think it's meant to be, like, a light-up thing or something like that, but it just kind of looks weird. Um, and on the back, we have some more details. I like the little skelet of this. And I do want to see what this looks like off of her, to be honest with you guys. We're going to just kind of take things off as we go. Because I think this kind of looks a little bit better with all this plastic piece. Yeah. And I was right. I think this looks a little bit nicer. I don't know if I'm going to display my doll like this. But I do enjoy that it, um, there's like a little like mini dress kind of thing happening. It's very, very pretty. So like as you go down, there's like a, like a blue... Um, I guess that is a different... F Ooh, wait, I think there's another dress under here, to be honest with you guys. It's like a mini dress. Ooh, we're gonna have to see what that's about in just a minute. But I like this. This is fun. This is very pretty. And then it goes down into, like, a giant train thing with some bats and some flowers and some spider webs. And it's all glittery. And it's a pretty big train, I would say. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. Um, which I like. I like that this dress is dramatic and fun. I do want to see what, though, is under this. Because I know... I think I know there's another dress under here that looks like there's another dress under here. And I'm excited to see. Ooh, there is another dress under here. Is it a good dress? Maybe. So this is all one piece and it is just a black mini dress. Um, and it is, okay. It looks, hmm. Just a black mini dress. It is some, has some lace on it, which is really pretty. But just a black mini dress. That's kind of fun. I wonder what it would look like with this thing. It's gonna look good. Maybe not. Maybe. I don't feel like doing this, to be honest. Wait. Yeah, this is not that, all that, to be honest. I don't think it was really meant for this, but it is cool that there is some versatility within this doll. That if you didn't like her, I guess, with the giant dress, which I think is kind of, the, again, one of the b bigger selling points was the giant train dress. You can just have this little black mini dress on her. And again, the entire ha ha like body is like this like ghastly kind of like iridescent thing. It looks really fun and cool. And here are shoes. These shoes are giant, like, molds of plastic. Um, there are some, like, little, like, details on them. I don't really know what the drama is, like, what these, these are supposed to be. But I love a good platform shoe. Again, more painted detail would have been nice, but I'm not mad at these. These are kind of cool. They're fun. Um, and, yeah, she looks like a fun little doll. I think she's fun. She looks kind of funky with just the dress on, so I'll be- we're gonna put the dress back on and give some final thoughts and stuff, but, um, yeah, cool that there's two outfit kind of things happening. Before we go, I forgot, there's also this, like, card of authenticity, which is literally just on the back of the box, which I almost threw away. Ah, sorry about that. This is cool, though, I guess, kind of. Maybe, I don't know. Here is a quick little comparison compared to Spectra and this new diva, Lenore. Um... I don't know why I wanted to compare them. They're both ghosts and they're both white. I do really like that this one has, again, that iridescent -y kind of really fun little vibe to her skin. Again, Spectre's just like a plain white and there's nothing wrong with that. But like, I don't know. This one has a little bit more dimension to it. But they're also not the same characters. But this one is like, I love like the, like the very like sprayed kind of like face paint going around the eyes. But yeah, I don't know. This doll's fun. Again, I don't think this doll's really worth $75, to be honest with you guys. But none of them are. And there's never been a Monster High doll from Mattel Creations that I'm like, I paid what I thought I should be paid for this. This doll could have easily been a $30 doll or a $40 doll or a holiday price doll. Like, give me like $45 and I would have been a lot happier with this doll. I think some of the issues that I have with her is, again, the unpainted details, the kind of no idea who this character really is. Again, she's very pretty. She's a stunning doll. I just wish we got some sort of, like, episode or, a, not, I don't know about a movie, but, like, something to kind of give me more detail into who she is and who she is as, like, a ghoul and... Is she at Monster High as a student? Is she is at Monster High as, like, an adult? Like, she kind of looks like an adult. She doesn't, like, look like a student to me. Um, she's also wearing, like, a giant gown. So I have no idea that she's, like, walking around Monster High with this gown. Like, I just want to know, again, more about her. I feel like we kind of lo lost a lot of her character. And that's kind of why I think Monster High dolls are super important and in super, like... I'm okay with spending a lot of money on them because, like, I know, like, the nostalgia and I know the character. Like, I know that, like, my Laguna doll, who is, like, the Hong Kong tour one, who is $75... Was she worth $75? No, not a single bit. But she's so pretty, and, like, that's my favorite ghoul. Like, that's Laguna. That's why I'm willing to pay that much money for th that doll. 
I don't really feel like a lot of collectors and a lot of um, Monster Eye fans are really gonna connect with this at all because there is not that much backstory to her actual character. Again, she's just kind of like a new one, which I don't mind new characters. Like, I'm all down, I'm down for anything Monster High, to be honest with you guys. Like, I got the Uno cards back there also. Um, but, like, I don't think there's, again, a lot to really go with this doll. And I don't think her art's pretty enough. I don't think there's a lot happening to really get people to actually care about her, which is kind of upsetting. Um, because that's, like, the whole thing of Monster High is, like, the characters. Um, with that tangent out of the way, though, I don't know. I think she's cool. I'm happy that she's in my collection. I wouldn't, I don't fully mind everything. I'm content with her. I think she's really, really pretty, and she's gonna look amazing on the shelf. Again, the face is really, really stunning, and I think she's a lot prettier in person. I feel like a lot of people were really quick to kind of jump on the hate train with her, and I get it, but I think she is very, very pretty, and I don't think she's the worst monster title ever. ever. <coughs> Holiday, Cleo, <coughs> Holiday, Draculaura, Holiday, Claudine, there's a lot of other ugly Monster High dolls that were mentioned. Like, the off-white dolls are a lot uglier than this one. So, I don't know. No shade, no tea. Um, I just think she's kind of pretty. And she's not as bad as people are making her out to be. But, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below, though. What do you guys think about this doll? Do you guys like her? Do you guys not like her? I don't know. All of your thoughts and all of your feelings in the comments below. I am dying to know. But thank you guys again so, so, so much for watching today's video. It was so much fun with you guys. And I can't wait to catch up with you in the next one. Love you guys all endlessly. And I'll see you very, very soon. Love you. Bye. Bye, everybody.